and so they had placed a coin of Tiberius into her little hand. Then her favorite dolls had been placed in the box with her. Doubtless, she had been fond of playing at doll tea parties, for there is a little table and a toy silver candlestick. Hello, welcome to Headlines and Voices. What we do here is we read amazing stories from newspapers from across the United States a century or more ago. And if you like these types of videos, if you like United States history and, and this kind of thing, go ahead, please, and like this video. Share it with others. Uh, subscribe to our channel. And also, leave comments. If you have any uh, comments about the things we're reading or if you even have any ideas of things that we should, should research for, for future episodes of this, uh, go ahead and put some notes down in the comments for us. This article here that I'm going to read comes from January 2nd, 1921. As we're recording these videos right now, we are in 2020, 2021, the, the change of year. And so we've been kind of looking at these newspapers that were right around the same time 100 years ago from when it changed from 1920 to 1921. And this particular article we found in a newspaper on January 2nd, 1921. It's in the New York Herald. It's a very short article, but it was fascinating. Little piece of history, uh, commentary. It's, it's history inside of history because the, the article itself is telling of a historical find. And thought this was, was pretty interesting. Thought you would enjoy this. So, once again, New York Herald, January 2nd, 1921. The headline of this article is Child of Old Rome Unearthed in Tomb. Sentiment of Little Boy Blue Seen in Burial of Dolls and Their Tea Table. The sentiment expressed by Eugene Field in his poem Little Boy Blue was felt by the parents of a little Roman girl who died in the period of Tiberius 1,960 years ago. Mute evidence of this is given by a touching little collection of articles from her tomb, which recently has been acquired by the Berlin Museum. First, the parents who evidently were people of means and education had seen to it that the child should have the fee to pay uh, to pay to Charon, the ferryman, when it came time for her to cross the river Styx. And so they had placed a coin of Tiberius into her little hand. Then her favorite dolls had been placed in the box with her. Doubtless, she had been fond of playing at doll tea parties, for there is a little table and a toy silver candlestick. The dolls had been dressed and even made up, for there is a little box of cosmetics with a picture of a bacha on the cover. I'm not sure what that is. It's capital B A C C H A. Bacha. Perhaps the little girl had got them all ready for a party when the tragedy came. At any rate, the dolls must have been highly treasured, and it is believed that they descended to her from another generation. Also, they buried with her some gaily colored little bricks, probably used as building blocks, and a gold brooch of the most delicate filigree work, and a gold bracelet. Nor was her education forgotten, for they had provided her with some tablets and a stylus, and everything is in a splendid state of preservation, almost as were the toys of Little Boy Blue. Quote, when he kissed them and put them there, unquote. Anyway, I thought that was kind of a neat little article where they found these remains of this little person from, from ancient Rome. Anyway, if you like that, please like this video and share this with anybody and leave your comments down below. Just to remind you, these videos are sponsored by Audio Mover. Audio Mover is the company that takes your old audio and videotapes, your history, and converts them to digital. If you have old audio and videotapes, they are deteriorating, or if you know somebody that does, uh, you can go to audiomover.com and start your order, send them in, and the staff will, will convert them into digital files so you have a permanent archive. And when you get into the checkout at audiomover.com, if you put in the word headlines, you can get 15% off your order. Anyway, thanks for listening. 
Headlines and Voices is sponsored by Audio Mover, the company that takes your history, your old audio and videotapes, and converts them into digital. Visit audiomover.com to learn more. Headlines and Voices is a production of Thick and Mystic Media. Visit thickandmystic.com.